This is Orca. Orca is an aerobic digester, meaning that it uses a natural biological process by which certain bacteria use oxygen to break down food waste into simpler substances such as water, carbon dioxide, minerals, and liquefied organic waste. The exact amount of each of these substances produced will depend on what type of food waste you put in the system. When left in a closed, oxygen-rich system, these aerobic bacteria continue to feed on the liquefied organic waste over time until the waste is completely consumed. The benefit of an aerobic system is that it works much faster at breaking down the food without releasing methane or carbon dioxide as happens in an anaerobic system. The only byproduct of this process is the moisture that was in the food waste, which can be deposited into the septic drain system or approved drain on board ships. These are the biochips. The biochips are what the microorganisms attach themselves to so that they can be in contact with and digest the food waste. Orca is a very user-friendly technology used to dispose of your organic waste, or as we call it, feeding the orca. Some models are equipped with locking doors, and some can be password protected. To feed these orcas, simply type in your password and hit the open button on the touch screen. Authorized personnel simply lift open the large feed doors and place the acceptable food waste inside. Operators must be aware that because the machine is equipped with scales, the food waste you're adding to the machine should not be rested on top of the unit prior to opening and feeding. And all items on the countertop surface should not be removed during the feeding process in order to ensure accurate readings. There are five different models of orcas. OG15, OG25, OG50, OG50 Low Profile, and OG100. These names represent each model's hourly processing capability in pounds. This particular one is our OG50 model, and it can be fed up to 50 pounds each hour. Although Orca has the ability to digest large amounts of food, they should never be fed large batches of food all at once. Operators should utilize that machine's ability to be continuously fed and feed the machine smaller batches of food as it is generated. Orca's digestion process requires the technology to always be running. All Orcas are equipped with safety sensors. These sensors ensure all moving parts stop when the feed door is open in order to ensure operator safety and easy feeding. As soon as the door is closed again, the orca resumes regular operation. Now let's talk about the acceptable food waste that can go in your orca. The general rule is if you can eat it, orca can eat it. Think of it as a mechanical stomach. You can feed it meat, skin and small bones, cheese, bread and baked goods, eggs, fruits, vegetables and stems, and pasta and rice. The orca is unable to digest items such as chemicals, cutlery, glass, ceramic, metals, and wood. There are also products on the market that are marked compostable. Those are not necessarily digestible, so they don't go in either. Liquids should also not go in the orca. Thin liquids will go through the machine and right into the drain. Thick liquids will coat the biochips that the microorganisms are housed on, therefore starving them of oxygen. Lastly, microorganisms cannot process fats, oils, or greases. Therefore, any that go in the orca will not be digested. Subsequently, they can cause problems in the system. When grease cools down, it coagulates. It could cause a blockage in the drain or even block the screen, which will make the equipment flood and potentially making the mixture go anaerobic by cutting off the oxygen to the microorganisms. If contaminants are found in the container that you're using to bring the food waste to the orca, simply pick them out and dispose of them properly before dumping the food into the orca. If when you open the orca, you see contaminants with your gloves or tongs, remove them from the orca and dispose of them properly. When feeding the orca, you should always be cognizant that you do not overfill it. A general rule for overfilling is you should always be able to see the tops of the arms and wipers in the unit. Once a day, once a shift, or whenever you see food waste starting to build up on the sides, front, and back of the machine, take this supplied hose and just rinse it down towards the mixture. This will help to ensure there will not be any unpleasant smells. All that food needs to get down to the biochips in order to be digested. On the left and right inner walls of the orca, you will find the water sensors. These sensors are in place to identify, warn, and in some cases, stop the machine from adding water if the water level becomes too high. 
If a water sensor is activated, a warning will appear on the touch screen, indicating if it is the left, right, or both water sensors being affected. If activated and the water level does not appear to be high, simply take your hose provided and unlodge anything which may be triggering the sensor. Some of these sensors will be found behind the cover and some of them are open depending on which model and variation of the Orca you have. If at any time an alert comes up on your screen, please let your supervisor know right away. Orca uses advanced electronics and smart sensors, which are sensitive to water. So please do not wash the exterior of the Orca. Instead, wipe down the outside of the Orca with stainless steel cleaner and a dry cloth. Finally, Orcas regularly require the introduction of microorganisms in order to maintain sufficient digestion. Some models are equipped with an onboard microorganism tank and pump which will electronically add microorganisms at set intervals, and all you have to do is refill the microbe tank every couple of months. For models that do not have a microorganism tank, you simply pour one gallon of liquid microorganism over the top of the food waste every month. Please ensure you understand which method you should be using. We hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for choosing Orca.